Teochew is another familiar Chinese subgroup making big reputations in Southeast Asia, especially in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. What are the differences between Teochew and Hokkien? What made them so special? Hi, my name is Ivan and welcome to Fearless Passport. To be honest, right before this video, I didn't know much about the Teochew culture. My entire life is more towards the Hakka culture. But for the sake of this video, I made a lot of research and I find that Teochew culture is so rich, it's very interesting. Alright, without further ado, let's see where Teochew is originated from. The Teochew people in Mandarin is called Cao Zhou Ren, Cantonese Chu Zhao Yan. They are the Han Chinese people native to the historical Cao Zhou in southeast Guangdong province at the border with Fujian province. In today's geographical locations, the land is renamed to Cao San, Duo Sua. Similar to the Hakkas and Hokkians, the ancestors of Teochew moved to present-day Chaoshan from the central plain of China to escape a series of civil wars, natural disasters and famine. And their origins are mostly from Henan, Shanxi, via Fujian. And their language, the Teochew dialect, is one of the oldest, most conservative Chinese dialects and is preserved many contrasts from ancient Chinese, the classical Chinese, that has been lost through the decades. The Teochew clan have been resided in South China for approximately 1,700 years with three other ethnic groups who shared the same lands for generations. They are the Hakkas and also the Cantonese. And because Cao San is also a close neighbor to Fujian, the people here also speak Duo Sua Min. The Min signifies the language incorporates the Minnan dialects of the Hokkians. Teochew is considered to a sub-branch of Southern Min language, the Minnan language, otherwise also known as Hokkien. The Teochew is generally considered to be a Hokkien dialect, with about 50% mutual intelligibility with the Amoy or Taiwanese Hokkien accents. The migrations of Teochew began after the First Opium War via one of the treaty ports established by Great Britain. During these migrations to Nanyang, most Teochew landed in Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam and Singapore. This explains why Teochew are the largest ethnic Chinese in today's Thailand and Cambodia and the second largest ethnic Chinese group in Singapore after the Hokkians. Even 30% of the Vietnamese population speaks Teochew. In Indonesia, the Teochew are the third largest ethnic Chinese group after the Hokkians and Hakka. They first settled in Riau Island, especially Bintan, to work in Bugis-operated Gambia and also pepper plantations. Today, the Teochew people lives mostly in Sumatra, Kalimantan, Jakarta, Semarang and also Surabaya City. In Malaysia, Teochew constitute the fifth largest Chinese dialect spoken among the Chinese in Malaysia. They are more concentrated in the northern states such as Kedah and North Perak. Central regions will be Pulau Ketam in Selangor. Different than the Hakkas, the Teochew are more water-attached people. Many early Teochews worked in the fishing industries as fishermen, fishmongers, fish wholesalers and also boatmen. Well, even today in Chaoshan, in Chaoshan, China itself, the Teochew people's lives are still heavily relied on sea, which explains why their cuisine contain more seafood, and this we will discuss about their food later. So, regardless where the Teochew came from, no matter where the Chaoshan, Southeast Asia or from the West, when Teochew people meet each other, they will commonly refer each other as Gaginang, Ren, that translates to our own people. And the Teochew do prove their kinship to deserve the term of Jews of the East for their immense loyalty and good financial discernments similar to that of the Jews in Europe. As mentioned before, Teochew dialect is closely related to the Hokkien dialect, which is the Southern Min language. However, there is still substantial variations between different areas of Chao San and between different Teochew communities overseas. As usual, because I cannot speak Teochew, I've asked several connections of mine, Teochew descendants from San Tou or Sua Tao, a small city in Chao San regions of China, and to compare that with Indonesia and Malaysia Teochew pronunciations. Le Ho Bo Wasi Teochew Nang. Hey, Wa Teochew Lang. Le Ho Ma Wasi Teochew Nang. 
，你爱晓打潮州话无？嘿，你爱晓打潮州话无？你会袂打着招呼？你到地国来，你是地国人。你地国来，你地国人。你到地国来，你是地国人。食饱未？食饱未？食饱未？你叫是咪咪啊？你咩咪啊？你名到几点？几钟几点？即大约做点了，啊，做点了。Food unites people, especially in Asia, as coastal Chaoshan is blessed with rich seafood. Teochew that migrated to Nanyang are also generally in the fishing industries. Traditional Teochew people do not consider a meal without seafood a proper meal. The Teochew cuisine has its own distinctive style, and their flavors are mild and fresh, with more emphasis on poaching, steaming, and also braising. The common Teochew cuisine is serving congee, and in Malaysia, Teochew is famous for their fried porridge, especially in Klang, known as Chao Zhou Chao Zhou Bubu Goreng. It is cooked with minced pork, tofu cubes, dried prawns, fried shallots, with a big fire to have some wok hei. If you ever come to Klang, you must not miss the bubu goreng. I mean, there is no other place, even in Chaoshan alone in China, you cannot find this exquisite fried porridge. The Indonesian Teochew porridge still preserves the traditional taste. I had it once in nearby Glodok area, and it's a wonder to see the entire restaurant speaking a mix of Hokkien Teochew dialects, complemented with Bahasa Indonesia. Another specialty of Teochew cuisine is putnet. There's always been a viral between Singaporean versions and Malaysian versions of pakote, but the origins for this dish is the same. They were made for the coolies, the un the unskilled laborers back in the days, where the unskilled laborers were so poor they didn't have lots of options when it comes to food. Therefore, they simply mix pork bones with some garlics and herbs to a broth. The name pakote simply means meat bone tea. Because the dish is made from pork bones and complemented with sips of tea and white rice, in Singapore the Teochew bagote is more peppery because back then Singapore was a huge peppercorn plantation. It is said that the coolies, gulei, the gulei, collected peppercorns that fell from sacks and brewed it with the pork bone broth. But in Malaysia, the bagote, in my own opinion, is better versions. The bagote in Malaysia is infused with herbs such as、uh, tungguai. Cinnamon, star anise, and also、uh, shiitake mushrooms, which is unique and also can only be found in Malaysia only. So we can go on and on about your true food, but I guess the best experience comes from your own adventure. I hope you enjoy this video. If you're ever curious about how mandarins、uh, are written in traditional and simplified mandarins, inclusive how Hokkien's、uh, Hakka, Cantonese, and Teochew are written in the Chinese characters, make sure you give me a like, a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all for the notifications video. And if you are a Teochew,、uh, make sure you send this video to your clans. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.